Today is Saturday. I got some errands to run. Heading to get some chicken feed from the local Amish hardware store. And then I'm going to try to see what Interstate Battery has to say about the Kubota tractor battery. See whether or not it's holding the charge and just needs charged for hours on end. Or if um, I should, build, should buy a rebuilt battery. And then after that, I got some recycling to drop off and just been thinking a lot of the different projects. And probably within the next week, I need to start uh, planting some seed starts indoors under the grow light. Um, just a lot of a lot of planning and thinking through things. So, so this year. I've realized that there's, basically I've looked back on my Instagram and there have been projects, I'd say maybe the ideation time was three years ago and I haven't gotten around to finishing them. So I'm declaring 2020 is gonna be the year of doing and I'm gonna get stuff done, so. We'll see. I'll try to document most of them. But uh, the other day, found out that our water pipe from our house to the barn sprung a leak. So I'm definitely going to have to rent a trencher one of these days in order to try to um, reroute the pipe in such a way that then I can add a hydrant to the garden. The tricky part is I don't know if the water pipe goes to the heated horse trough first or if it goes to the water hydrant that's near the horse trough. Um, if it goes to the hide, or the horse trough first, I don't know how I'm going to access the pipe because there's concrete that's poured all around it. What I'm hoping is that it goes from the hydrant then to the horse trough. And if it does that, then all I have to do is connect to the hydrant that's there and then everything will be good. Um, but we'll see. I've getting some good news on the uh, on the Kubota tractor battery. Uh, looks like it just needs to be charged overnight. Um, but I was able to snag up these really nice uh, rubber gloves for when I drop off the recycling. So well, today really I did um, burn some feed bags that I had picked up around the house on the outside and let's see this part has been overgrown so what I did today was I needed to make some more I needed to make some more room for uh, the grow lights down in the basement so I ended up transplanting the garlic down here and then what I plan on doing is taking wood chips and putting wood chips around these two raised beds uh, I do have some wood ash there that I plan on sprinkling in and then over here is the wood storage that I need to finish building um, which that will end up having to be on uh, for another day the water pipe situation so basically down in the basement, there is a water pipe that comes out and I don't exactly know where it goes, but there is a dip right here in the ground that I think might be a good starting point to dig to. Now the previous owner, he did say that the water pipe goes over here and around the southwest corner of the barn. And then there is a electrical 
line that goes there. Well, my thought is if I can intercept the pipe here and then run it along the north, the east side of the barn, then potentially could run some water in that small building. Then I could run a water hydrant to the garden. Then I would run the water line along the north side of the barn over to here and tie in to that heated horse water trough. Then from here, I would do a straight shot back to the high tunnel. Because the issue right now is that it looks like the broken part of the pipe is underneath the concrete slab. And I don't want to bust up that concrete slab. I'm wondering if this is coming from a water leak underneath the ground. This is pretty bizarre. But a positive note is that if I do rent a trenching machine, then I'll have a lot more trenching to do, which would make it more worth the effort. Hope you enjoyed this mini vlog. Uh, make sure to leave a comment down below if you like this type of content and hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye.